Are you applying to USC? Do you need help with writing the USC supplemental essays? Don't worry, I got your back. Hey everyone, I'm Jason Patel, the founder of Transition, and we've helped thousands of students with college essays. And I'm looking forward to helping you. Before getting started, please press subscribe if you're interested in learning more about college and career topics. I cover everything from college essays to applying to internships to becoming a successful professional. In this video, I cover what are the USC Supplemental Essays, how to write each USC Supplemental Essay, brainstorming strategies for the USC Supplemental Essays, the best strategies to writing the USC Supplemental Essays, and of course, examples of successful USC Supplemental Essays. Let's get started. The University of Southern California, otherwise known as USC, is a private university located in downtown Los Angeles, California. With its warm weather and beautiful campus, USC has been a prime film location for many films and television shows. If you've seen Forrest Gump, Legally Blonde, Love and Basketball, The Social Network, and The Sea, you've seen USC. Boasting over 21 colleges, academies, and schools of study that offer hundreds of majors and thousands of courses, USC offers plenty of variety for even the most curious students. USC's acceptance rate has been sitting at about 13% the past few years, give or take. With such a low acceptance rate, you'll need to write excellent essays to be considered for admission to USC. USC uses the Common App, which means you can access all essay questions on the Common App portal. It's very easy and it takes one minute. Though so you'll need to make these essays count, you shouldn't worry. This guide is here to help you through the entire supplemental essay process, so you can show the USC admissions team that you deserve to be a part of their upcoming class. So what are the USC supplemental essay requirements? USC requires that students answer multiple prompts as part of the application process. You'll find both on the common end. For the first prompt, students must choose one of three potential essay questions. These questions assess the student's diverse experiences, interests, and characteristics. This type of question is also commonly referred to as the diversity essay. Prompts for this essay include, USC believes that one learns best when interacting with people of different backgrounds, experiences, and perspectives. Tell us about a time you were exposed to a new idea or when your beliefs were challenged by another point of view. Please discuss the significance of the experience and its effect on you. USC faculty place an emphasis on interdisciplinary academic opportunities. Describe something outside of your intended academic focus about which you are interested in learning. What is something about yourself that is essential to understanding you? For the second prompt, students must describe their intended major and what motivated them to make that choice. The question is as follows. Describe how you plan to pursue your academic interests and why you want to explore them at USC specifically. Please feel free to address your first and second choice major selections. USC also has a short answer section in which you are expected to write extremely short, one sentence or even one word answers. These questions are designed to better showcase your personality. These questions are quite random, so prepare to answer with authenticity and a bit of thought, so the best version of yourself is represented. Creating a compelling application USC requires well-written essay responses that reflect critical self-reflection and self-understanding. On top of perfecting your mechanical skills, work to condense and hone your writing so that every word adds to your main point. In addition to helping admissions officers get to know you better through writing, you should pay attention to your organization, spelling, and grammar, of course. Simple mistakes in those areas can outshine your true potential, which we don't want. We'll look at each of the prompts to help you submit the best USC supplemental essays. USC supplemental essay prompt number one, new ideas. Here's the prompt. In this prompt, USC tells you that they value diversity. Not only do they value diversity, but they also value people who can appreciate diversity and are open-minded to new ideas, experiences, and perspectives. First, it's vital that you truly understand what diversity means. According to Merriam-Webster, two definitions are the inclusion of different types of people, such as people of different races or cultures, in a group or organization, and an instance of being composed of different elements or qualities. To answer this question, you'll have to reflect on past experiences during which you faced a different idea or belief that somehow challenged yours. You will then have to tie your experience and lessons learned in with USC's values. USC's values, by the way, are found underneath the applicant admission process tab on their website, so it's very easy to find. In the personal quality section, USC states, we look for students who possess the potential to contribute to our diverse and vibrant campus life, who represent a vast array of interests and passions and are leaders unafraid to speak up in class or fight for a cause. We value students who make us think in other words, not only does USC want you to be open-minded and appreciative of diversity, 
They also want you to be a leader and contributor to the community. They want you to own your uniqueness and share it with others in a way that is mutually beneficial to the community and to you. Before you begin generating ideas, let's take a deeper look at the question to fully understand what USC is asking for without going overboard in your response. Tell us about a time you were exposed to a new idea or your beliefs were challenged by another point of view. Your essay response only needs to include one story and does not need to include both components mentioned in the prompt. To start brainstorming, think of a few times where you heard something or had a conversation that introduced you to a new perspective, changed your perspective, or called it into question altogether. How did you feel? Why did you feel that way? Once you have generated a list of experiences, pick the one you feel offers the deepest experience with diversity in your life. Reflect on this experience and discuss how it affected you in a positive way. How did those experiences change your thinking or your outlook on life for the better? Did the experience cause you to question or reflect on other beliefs you possess? If your perspective didn't change, what did you appreciate about the other perspective on the issue, idea, or belief? It's helpful to write down thoughts and notes before you begin crafting your actual essay. After doing this, take what you have written and summarize that into a brief thesis statement. Then expand to help the reader to understand your challenge just as you were experiencing. Your telling of the experience can flow similar to how you would tell someone out loud, but you're limited to 250 words. For example, my discussion with person X did not change my views on the problems associated with income inequality, but it did help me to better understand and sympathize with some of the issues self-made wealthy individuals face. Pick your most poignant experience and make a story out of it. Help the reader to experience your challenge just as you are experiencing it. Be sure to showcase your individuality and your open-mindedness. Once you've written your personal statement, be sure to have someone read and edit your response. This will help make sure your point was made and avoid spelling and grammar errors you may have overlooked. Okay, let's move on to USC Supplemental Essay Prompt Number 2, Outside Your Academic Focus. With this prompt, USC wants to see that you're able to demonstrate open-mindedness. It's great that you want to study mathematics, but are you also open to learning about the field of music? What about psychology? Maybe you want to be a doctor and are inspired by literary doctors like Oliver Sacks and William Carlos Williams. In this case, you'd explain how you plan on studying literature in addition to pre-medical courses. They want to know that you care about things outside of your immediate focus. Having more than one interest makes you more well-rounded on a personal level and it can help you on a professional and academic level as well. For instance, USC wants to produce skilled doctors. They prefer to produce good doctors who also understand the healing power of narrative. You'll want to have a focus, but also a breadth of diverse interests. For this question, you will also need to be genuine. Even if your other interest is not an academic field or major offered at USC, it's okay. You can still write about it. The prompt doesn't state it has to be an academic interest, it just has to be outside of your intended academic focus. You may decide to minor in another area, but you should not feel restricted to discuss academics only. Consider writing about opportunities offered at the university that exist outside of the classroom. You can try researching the different clubs, activities, or events that exist or happen around campus. For example, you may major in political science, but also want to become a better musician. You might want to sign up for a voice class at the university and join choirs and singing groups to improve your musical ability. Or maybe you're a STEM major, but you've also been learning ASL. You could write about your interest in USC's American Sign Language Club, as it would help you better practice your sign language. What are your other interests? Try writing them down and writing about the one that means the most to you or shows the side of you that is not yet on your application. Here's another example. If you plan on majoring in bioengineering, you'll want to think beyond biology and engineering, as this is implied in the name of the major. You could be interested in a humanity like anthropology which works to explain how human cultures work, an interest that may inform and enrich your primary focus. If you can't think of a particular interest that would be completely new to you, consider a topic outside your academic focus that you want to become better versed in. In this case, you'll express why you want to continue learning more about that interest. In other words, what is something you want to learn more about? Why do you want to learn more about it? While there is no wrong answer to the question, a great way to approach the question is using your interest to unconventionally further your understanding in your academic focus. So for instance, if you're a physics major with a passion for music, you might write about using music as practical applications of some physics principles regarding vibration and sound transfer. If there's a particular story behind your interest, share that in a way that helps the reader connect with you. Telling a short story about your interest will help you effectively use more of your 250 word limit. Overall, try to be authentic and show USC that you're a well-rounded individual who will add to their campus community in more ways than one. Okay. Here's an example of a successful applicant to USC who wrote this essay. I'll be quiet so that you can read it in peace.
All right, let's move on to USC Supplemental Essay Prompt number three, essential to understanding you. Here's the prompt. This is the equivalent of the tell me about yourself question, the same one that you will be asked during almost every internship and job interview. This question is broad, so you want to be particular and stay focused. The best way to be particular is by utilizing a story that you haven't already told in another part of the application. This story should also highlight one of the characteristics you feel is essential to who you are as a person. Think of a story that demonstrates your values, a perfect day, an activity you enjoy, or an important relationship. You'll want to be able to pinpoint that one thing throughout your story. The key is to answer the question concisely within the 250 word count maximum and genuinely. Another great way to approach this question is to ask yourself a question and answer through a free way. Examples of questions you could ask yourself include, what do I value? What does my perfect day look like? What could I do every day and not get tired of? Who are the most important people in my life? What is my ultimate goal? What motivates me? Write whatever comes to mind for your questions. Don't be afraid to include a negative experience if it significantly affected your life, goals, or personality. That's a good thing. Life's all about change. This is where you can find beauty in the darkness to show how you're unique. Do the same free write exercise with these questions. What struggle do I work with most to overcome? What is something only those closest to me know about how I've become who I am today? What do I avoid at all costs? What am I terrified of? You're not being asked to share your most tragic story or deepest, darkest secret, but it's important to appreciate that we don't only grow from positive experiences. We grow from all experiences. So write about the one, positive or negative, that has shaped you the most. The next step is to ask yourself why. This is very important. USC wants to know what is important to you and why it's important. If your answer is, I don't know, take some time to think about it or move on to the next idea on your list. Ask friends and family for their thoughts, but remember that you have to create an essay with your own thoughts and not those of someone else. Here's an example of breaking down a meaningful story to pinpoint the specific characteristic that is essential to you being you. Interest, I love traveling by train. Why? I like the rhythm and cadence of the wheels and the tracks, the sound of the whistle, watching the diversity of the landscape as I travel in and out of urban centers. What does it say about me? I pine for a quieter, slower time and love to find ways to balance the rush and grind of the city with habits of slow living. What characteristic does this give me? This says something about how I'm contemplative. How do I use this characteristic? I spend time contemplating choices longer than most and dislike being rushed to make a decision. When you're able to come up with the answer to why, write down as much as you can without judging yourself. You're the only person who knows the truth about what is essential to understanding you. When you're able to identify what you would like to write about, frame it within a story. Remember that you only have 250 words to spare, so it won't be a full-blown story. However, two to three sentences about the background behind your topic will be helpful to the reader. For example, if you want to write about your involvement in sports as an important part of who you are, write about how you became interested in sports in the first place. Maybe your grandfather taught you how to throw a football. Maybe he came to all of your games. Let the reader know the story behind what you've chosen to write about. As always, have someone read your essay to ensure that it's error-free and genuinely reflects you. Here's an example of this essay. I'll be quiet so you can read it. Let's move on to the next essay, Why USC Supplemental Essay, How to Answer the Intended Major Question. This is what the question looks like. All told, this is another version of a Why This College Essay. Sometimes when high school students are thinking about their major, they get overwhelmed because they aren't 100% confident about what they want to study, which is perfectly okay. Consider major selections to be a road trip, not a death sentence. You're allowed to change your mind, but it helps if you know what you want and why. So take some time to think about it. What do you enjoy studying? Why do you enjoy studying it? Are there other subjects you enjoy as well? Think about your experiences in school up until this point. Sure, interests change, but often there are things within our lives that remain constant, especially our passions. Maybe you never cared about history class, but you enjoyed reading novels and analyzing characterization and plot techniques. Or perhaps you hated having reading assigned for class but enjoyed acting out scenes from different novels and plays. Those are things to take note of. Another way to help you figure out your intended major is a look through USC's website. Remember, this question functions as 
both a question about your intended major and a question about your intentions for applying to USC. Your answer is best suited when tailored to USC's unique features that other colleges do not offer. Does biomedical engineering sound interesting to you? Check out USC's biomedical engineering program. Look at what courses you will have to take and steal what excites you. Struggling to come up with your intended major? Working backward is another helpful strategy. Think about where you'll want to be five to 10 years from now. What you want to be doing every day. Are you passionate about reading and analyzing large amounts of information and communicating it in a way that makes sense to other people? Do you want to teach people how to handle their finances? Are you interested in helping other people live healthier lives? Do you want to develop your passion for writing into a career? Look at careers that match the type of things you will want to be doing every day. Then look at the type of knowledge that will be required to get those jobs. It's that easy. That knowledge may be found in more than one major. If that's the case, you will need to look through the department websites for your intended majors. Once you've done the necessary background research, tell your story. Lean into a story of what your major will be and own it. But remember, this is not binding or contractual. You can change your major later on. The more you learn about different majors, the clearer your intended major may become. So spend a couple of hours clicking deep into the website and free writing, like I talked about before. Start with the programs related to a chosen field. Then look at the types of courses that are offered and learn about some of the professors teaching those courses. You'll also want to look at news or research coming out of the department. Consider which ways in which you will grow and flourish academically and programs to which you might contribute as a student at USC. If you have a career goal, it can help. Talk about that. Describe how your major in narrative studies will help you realize the goal of becoming a documentary filmmaker. Explain how you'll be prepared in a program that balances traditional studies in English literature with film theory, writing classes, as well as a study of popular culture and ethnicity. Write about how a degree in social work will help you shape the type of politician you want to be in the future. Be an honorable and good one and keep your promises. Write the vision for your life and write about your first and or second choice major will help you get there. It would be an added bonus if you can talk about extracurricular activities you might be interested in joining to further supplement your learning. Remember, learning takes place outside a classroom as well. So take time with this essay to make sure you're confident in your future goals and share them with the admissions team. When you're authentic and have a plan for the future, you're sure to write a compelling essay. Your natural voice will bleed out of it. Here's a why USC and why this major essay example. Yet again, I'll give you some peace and quiet to read this entire essay. It's awesome. Let's now move on to the USC short answer questions, which are actually a lot of fun. The USC short answer questions include, describe yourself in three words, what is your favorite snack, best movie of all time, dream job, if your life had a theme song, what would it be, dream trip, what TV show will you binge watch next, which well-known person or fictional character would be your ideal roommate, favorite book, if you could teach a class on any topic, what would it be? While most universities that include a short answer section limit your word count to about 100 words. The USC short answer questions only require one or two sentences to fully answer them. Be sure to answer the why implicit in the question. Treat it more like a conversation interview. Monosyllabic responses don't bode well for a conversation and they don't look great for your application either. Instead, add a tiny bit of context to your answer. That's okay. After all, the USC admissions department should better understand you after reading your short answers. There are two kinds of questions. Listing something that you feel, describe yourself, and answering generic break the ice questions. For the questions in which you describe yourself, try asking friends or family for some perspective. Most importantly, make sure that you don't choose vague adjectives. Each word should reflect a specific part of your personality. Be decisive here. If you're having a lot of trouble thinking of the words that best describe you, don't be afraid to get creative. For example, if you're a Harry Potter fan, consider using traits that describe your favorite Hogwarts house. For instance, if you consider yourself a Ravenclaw, and I'm not sure how many people actually consider themselves a Ravenclaw, you might use the words analytical, quizzical, and creative. 
A Slytherin may use ambitious, hardworking, and clever. Whatever method you choose, make sure that these words tell USC about you. For the questions, begin with the answer, then explain the why, but be really quick with it. Also remember that the admissions team at USC is not looking for the most sophisticated student. They just want introspective students. For instance, don't just say that your favorite movie is Captain America, The Winter Soldier, or 12 Angry Men. Explain why, but briefly. Perhaps you're interested in the themes of privacy issues versus security, or the film made you interested in the law or political science. With every question, bring along a little insight into your life, your beliefs, and your ambitions. Here are some USC short responses examples. Describe yourself in three words. First word, self-motivated. Second word, analytical. Third word, mindful. What is your favorite snack? Raisins and almonds. They're nutritious, portable, and delicious. What's your favorite app or website? Spotify. What's your favorite movie of all time? Avengers, Infinity War. What's your dream job? Founder and CEO of my assistive robotics technology company. What is your theme song? Believer by Imagine Dragons. What's your dream trip? A road trip on historic Route 66 from Chicago to LA with my friends. What TV show will you binge watch next? The Office. Which well-known person or fictional character would be your ideal roommate? Aragon from Lord of the Rings. What's your favorite book? Shoe Dog by Phil Knight, which is actually a fantastic book for entrepreneurs. If you could teach a class on any topic, what would it be? Facing your fears, public speaking. As I mentioned at the beginning of this guide, a well-written response to these prompts will require self-reflection, critical self-analysis, and research. Start early to give yourself enough time to research your intended majors, write high-quality responses, and have time for your revisions. You have a 250 word limit for each of the supplemental essays, so use them all to create a lasting impression on the admissions officer reading your application. By following the guidelines that I discussed, you can create a shining admissions package that will set you apart from other applicants. Don't forget to have fun, be a little creative, and show the USC admissions team who you really are. Your best chance to get into USC depends on it. And that's it for this video. I hope you learned a lot about how to write the USC supplemental essays. Please press subscribe for more content on college and career topics. Now it's your turn. In the comments, tell me what trouble you're having with with respect to the USC supplemental essays. I will get back to you and try to help. Okay, guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.